When it comes to thermal interface materials, we know there's thermal paste and thermal pad. But what if you wanted something in between? Well, apparently, there's thermal putty. This is the TGPP10 from T Global Technologies. I got a 50 gram bottle of it from DigiKey for about $21. The thing about this is that it's got a thermal conductivity rating of 10 watts per meter Kelvin. That's pretty impressive because it's on par with um, high end thermal paste and better than a lot of thermal pads out there. So this one's 6 watts per meter Kelvin. This is 8 watts per meter Kelvin. These are 12 watts per meter Kelvin. And this one is 17 watts per meter Kelvin, but the problem with these is that as you go higher in thermal conductivity in thermal pads, they tend to be harder and they tend to dry up over time. So this has simply been sitting around for two years and as you can see, my fingernail can't make much of a dent in it and when you fold it, it cracks. So it's gotten brittle and crumbly and that's not very good if you're trying to cool down various components on the motherboard with different heights because this lacks the compressibility to conform to that uneven surface. And I think that's where this thermal putty comes in because if we take a look, it's this clay-like substance that's very soft, very compressible and stretchable. It feels moist, so um, the question remains whether this will dry up over time, and if it does, whether that affects its performance. But what I'm thinking right now is if you just slap a big clump of it over the components that you're trying to cool, and then just press the heat sink over it, you know, kind of like that. Um, it'll just conform to this uneven surface very easily. So considering it's 10 watt per meter Kelvin thermal conductivity, this should be quite effective in cooling down VRM components on the motherboard. So that's where we're going to find out in some of our next laptop mods, so stay tuned.